you so much for checking out this video. I have some super exciting news today. This is officially my one year mark with Beachbody. So I figured I would come to you guys and just share a little bit about what I've learned, the knowledge that I've picked up, and kind of what's brought me to this point and the lessons that I've learned throughout this journey. Um, it has been amazing, it has been life changing, and I really am so thankful that this has come into my life. So um, I just wanna share with you about five different tips right now um, on what my takeaway from my first year in coaching with Beachbody, what I've learned. So my first takeaway is always be open to learn. The thing with Beachbody is they are so adamant on filling up your own cup and being able to learn as much as you can learn and soak in as much knowledge. Personal development is one of our vital behaviors and this is something that I was already doing before I was a coach, but this took it to a whole new level. So there is a quote that goes something along the lines of if you learn 1% a day in a year from now, you will be 365 times greater than when you were off when you, before you first started, where you were from when you first started. So what that's saying is that if you just get up and you listen to a podcast or you read a book or you're investing in yourself 1%, 1% every day, a year from now, you're going to be 365 times better off, greater off, more knowledgeable than you were from the year before. And that's exactly how I feel with each body. I feel like a caterpillar that's turned into a butterfly. <laughs> it's so funny to say that, but it's so true. I really do feel like I've learned so much. I've come such a long way. And um, again, it really is because I'm learning every day. I There's not a day that goes by that I'm not reading, listening to personal development. And you know what? I fit it in where I can. So if I'm doing my hair, I'm doing my makeup in the morning, I'm listening to it while I'm getting ready or in my car while I'm driving. There's no excuse not to learn every day because you're too busy or there's too many things going on. You can fit it in. It's just a matter of prioritizing um, the importance of where that fits into your life. So that's my first tip. My second tip about what I've learned throughout my year in beach body coaching is that like attracts like. If you're the type of coach, if you're the type of person that is charging full steam ahead and you are putting in the effort and you are drinking your shakes and doing your personal development and helping other people, you're going to attract those type of people. But if you're the type of person or you're the type of coach that doesn't show up for team calls, uh, doesn't show up for one-on-one -on -one calls, you're not doing your personal development, you are going to attract people that are just like you. It's just what you put out into the universe. Like attracts like. So if you want to be that strong coach, if you want to be the coach that's leading from, you know, within the trenches and, and in it with your team and they see that, that's what, what person you want on your team. That's the type of team and environment you want to create. You're not going to get that if you're just kind of dabbling and one foot in, one foot out. If this is something that you truly see can, can be potential for you and you can grow and make something out of this, then why just go in? Why just go in with one, one little toe in, right? Go all in. You can't lose at this. It's literally, you're building yourself up every single day. So like attracts like, be the type of coach, be the type of person that you would want to be for yourself and for your team and you'll also see that that will create the environment and the team that that is just the team environment that's the motto that you have and you'll start to see that your team reflects that. My third tip that I've learned, I kind of learned this the hard way, is work with the willing. You can only do so much for your coaches. You can only handhold so much. You can only do so much work for them. There comes a point in time when they will need to start to do the work for themselves. In the beginning, yes, it's a lot more of, of hand-holding and kind of showing your team the way and, you know, doing calls. And that's, that's all a part of, of learning this business. But what I'm talking about is when you have people that are showing you versus telling you. When I have a coach that's showing me that they're putting in the effort and showing up and, and, and making results for their team and themselves, that's the type of person I want to work with. When I keep going back to the same person, who's just telling me and telling me but there's not any results, that's the type of person that they are not really invested. They're telling you maybe just for some lip service, but they're not really invested in this. So work with the willing. Don't invest time into people that aren't willing to invest in you. That is something I had to learn the hard way because there's some coaches that I had on my team. I really wanted them 
to work this business. I wanted to show them how much I love this and how life changing this was, but they didn't want it for themselves. So my tip to you is work with the willing, the people that are proving it to you, showing up, putting in the effort, you go in with them 100%. The people that aren't doing that, well, until they prove it to you, then they just gonna, they're just gonna have to, to, to put in the work and you know prove to you that, that your time and their time is both valuable and they have to prove to you that they want this just as much as you want them on the team. My fourth tip. Now, this is something I did watch. I don't know if any of you have watched um, the, the movie or read the book, uh, it's called The Secret, but it kind of goes hand in hand. I watched this this weekend. My tip number four is live in an abundance mindset. When you think in scarcity, when you're thinking small, oh, I'm not gonna hit this goal this month, or I can't do this, I can't do that, the universe understands that, and it's attracting, it's attracting those negative vibes. But if you say to yourself, I'm going all in, I'm doing this this month, this is my goal, not only am I gonna crush this goal, but I'm gonna rock it 10 times harder, and you're gonna see the results actually happen. You wanna know why? It all starts up here. It all starts with your mind, and what you tell yourself is what's gonna happen. So living in an abundance mindset, it's all about not thinking small, thinking big, and having big goals. Because once you get out of that small thinking, your world just turns, it, it explodes. And if you don't believe me, try it. Have you ever had a bad day, and all of a sudden, one small thing turns into two, and then three, and all of a sudden you have a flat tire, and then you're running late. It, it just perpetuates. Now, do the opposite. Think about the days when you are having an amazing day, and you know, you're know you like, the sun's shining, I'm so grateful for all the things that I have. All of a sudden, amazing things start popping up in your life, right? So think with an abundance mindset, and that will go through all areas of your life, and you'll start to see how much potential you have, and how many people you can start to help. My last tip, tip number five, it's okay to want more. I know some people are kind of, maybe it's taboo, they don't really wanna talk about it, but it's okay to want more for yourselves. It's okay to want more money. It's okay to want nicer things in your life. It's okay to want to help more people. Some people just don't wanna talk about it. I don't know why, but why not? Why not create a life for yourself where you can have more? Again, the entire concept of what Beachbody is, it's helping other people, but it's also helping ourselves. So we pour into our coaches, but really we are also getting out of that too. We are sharing our, our story. We're sharing kind of like where we came from, what got us into this business, but you know what? It is okay to come from a place and share that you want bigger things. Just because you're somewhere now, in this moment, maybe today when you're watching this video, doesn't mean a year from now you can't be better off. It's always better to think big or want more. And I and I don't mean this in a in a pretentious way or anything like that. I'm just saying this that you should always want more for yourself. No matter where I'm at today, no matter how well I'm doing, I'm always gonna want more because I'm always working on me. I'm always working on myself. So I want the people that I surround myself with to also want more. Why wouldn't you? You guys, we do this together. We're a team. So I want more for myself, I want more for my family and the people I surround myself with. So I encourage you, don't be afraid of, of putting out there, putting out to the universe, putting out putting out to you know social media, our friends, family, that you want more. So this is what this business allows us to do. You're, you're here today, you're living here and in the now, but you know what, a year from now, I bet you if you work on yourself, like I said, 1% a day, you will be 365 times better in one year from now than you were today, if you work on yourself 1% every day. So those are my five tips that I have for you. Go big with this business, be the person that's leading, be the leader, be the example, and um, I'm just so proud and just, I, I can't begin to, to, to explain to you, to tell you how, um, fortunate I am to be with this company Beachbody and just the vehicle that it's given me to help others. So I can't wait to come to you in a year from now and do another video on everything that I've learned. But um, this is what I've learned in my first year with Beachbody and I hope you guys have got some great information out of this. Thanks so much and have a great day. Bye-bye.